Today I have a repair that was done by my good friend Mark Gallery. He's about a 12 to 13 year technician and this is an extremely technical repair. It's a deep rail shot which is a sharp dent right over top of the driver's door on the rail. It's an inaccessible area, it's a structural area of the car. Everything has to be done from the outside strictly with glue. Uh, he did a good job of documenting everything beginning to end and uh, put it together in some different videos. So if you have any questions about the repair itself, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it because I may have left some things out just to try to get the, the length of the video down. The repair itself came out really great. I, I'm not sure that I would have taken the time to do that. But uh, like I said, he's an extremely skilled technician. So thanks for checking out my channel and I'll see you guys soon. some more. The bottom in there anywhere? I opened it up so far. A little bit wider. I don't want to overdo it. Fourth knockdown time. Really spreading that center out a little bit. Just again to show you where we're getting at. That was a pull with a square with a lack of square tab. I'm getting it up a little bit. Still major sharp in the center, but I'm slowly bringing it up here. Find it out a little bit more. I'm pulling that center. Kiko lifter, making sure I get plenty of pressure here and here. Just pinch this together as I pull that up. And make sure I get that center out. Okay, so as you can see, I pulled the center up, and this is what you want. You want to be able to pull all the way around this like this. Because as you knock down the metal on either side, knock down here, as you knock down the metal on either side here and here, that metal's gonna feed out. So it's gonna feed into that low and away from the low but that's what we want to try to do feed some of that metal into that low as we open it up don't just get in this get in the center and open it get in the high and push so it blends it out and pushes into it and away from it and that's slowly going to build up the rigidity in the center of that and then we'll come back and take care of all the other stuff around but now we're going to knock that almost completely back down all the way back down into flat again All right, back again. Knock that center all the way down. And you see we still got just a touch of a sharp right there. Just a little bit, but... It's significantly better than it was. And again, using a square tab, try to pull that center up. Let's see how much area we have there. Got it metal flared out fairly wide now there to there this is a lot bigger than what it originally was I could probably spread it out even farther but you know, let's see how this does all right that pull moved the center the way I wanted it to and as you can see here the center is slowly getting smaller and smaller every time I pull it up that's a lot lot smaller than what it was before there's my finger for reference again um, you know we're still trying to get that very very bottom but I got to get this and then tap down both of these si sides all the way around knock all these shoulders around just keep going in a circle around it and slowly feeding that metal in and out of it to try to get that center to shrink a little bit more um, and then we'll be able to come back and take out all this other stuff spread out make sure you're spreading out far enough that your pull is productive okay now I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing up some of this edge stiffening this up here in the center a little bit and then, uh, so it doesn't quite knock down so far and so deep as I'm knocking down so full disclosure if you want to try to count them there that's how many pulls. Those are the three tabs I've been using. The square, square lock tab that's got the different the triangle 
and I did use that one just once. <clears throat> We're nowhere near done, but as you can see, the center here. Try to pull a, a knock down and focus here for you. There is your center pit. That if you look, there is no center pit anymore. I finally got the pit to pull. So I wanted to stop here and show you that the pit has started to come out. So now I can start focusing and really working the rest of the dent around and getting that body line to pull back up. I'm probably gonna switch to a, uh, a gangrene crease tab for, for their flexibility as I pull on this. The center's really gonna pull up and, and mound that body line up, which is what I want. I wanna pull all that metal up into that body line. So that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah, we had a few pulls with those. Um, I did use this several more times. I did put several more pulls on with that. Um, that was helping out a lot. Try to bring up some of what's some of what was left in it. Of orange peel. It looks significantly better than it did. I'm letting it go at that. Okay. Pour it off, sun out, cold cut. And you remember, back in the beginning, I walked up on there and you could see what that was. That's how you get a really sharp dent out of the bottom. With blue pulling. 